Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the transformation tools, the move, rotate, and scale tools. So, without any further delay, let's get right into it. So, let's for example select cube right here. You'll see these three arrows on the blue color, uh, one on the green color, and one of the red color. So, what does this even mean? What do you do with this? Well, if you hold down one of these, if you just click on this and hold it, you can move it. Hmm, really good, really cool. On all the axes. Something like that. If you select the rotate tool, you can rotate it around on every axis. And by the way, to undo actions, uh, like most of the time to use Ctrl Z and Ctrl Y to redo. Alright, so as we know the move and rotate tools, let's also talk about the scale tool. So if you select an object with a scale tool selected, you can scale an object, something like this. Okay, that's now a bigger cube. We can see a cuboid. Alright, so now let's talk about some things about snapping. So we have snapping options uh, for scale, rotate and move tool individually. So let's see how snapping really works because snapping is a very important part of the engine. So for example, I want to move to the x-axis. Now, if I just move it, you can see it's snapping, it's not moving, uh, it's just teleporting. It's, it's not moving completely, it's teleporting from its place in intervals. And in this case, it's 10, you can definitely change it to 10,000, 5,000, 1,000 and so on. So it's snapping like this, snapping to the grid. We can also disable snapping. And if you disable snapping, as you can see, it's now moving freely instead of snapping in units or in the grid. As you can see, it's snapping. If you select the rotate tool, you can see that it's snapping in the interval of 30, uh, I mean 10 degrees. As you can see, you can also see in the representation, it's snapping in 10 degrees intervals. Same for all axes. And you can also see that in the scale too, actually. As you can see, it's snapping. It's not free. Now, where you might use this? Uh, if you want to scale an object, um, if you want to scale an object, if you want to move an object um, based on the grid or if you want to align objects, uh, this tool is really useful. So for example, if you just copy paste this cube real quick, CTL C, CTL V and using, gra uh, using the grid snapping, I can snap it. This is 100% snap. There is no gap. There is not even a single gap between these. But what if I do it's something disable this gap snapping. Okay, I'm trying to align it. It's overlapping a bit. It's it's tough, it's difficult. It's almost not possible. It, there will be still gaps between. And if you're just a master pro, you can do that. But with snapping, as you can see, it's a lot more easier. Uh, for the rotate tool, you can uh, snap it. And uh, why is it useful is, for example, you want to rotate an object 45 degrees, you can definitely do that. Or 90 degrees, you can definitely do that. If we uh, set the grid angle to 5 degrees, you can see we can rotate to 45 degrees exact. And this is exact 45 degrees, not even a degree gap or something, not even 0.1 degree. So this can be really useful. Same for, goes for the scale tool. Now, one more thing you may like to do is, and you may also think that, can you translate two axes at the same time? Yes, 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 you can do that. You can do that for the move tools and the scale tools, but you cannot do that for the rotate tools. So, with the move tool, you can uh, see these, um, you know, you can see a half cube. So, if you select one of these squares, it will move around and the axis is one more thing to notice that the axis which you are going to move uh, will turn yellow something like this as you can see 
they're turning yellow and we can move on two axes at the same time as you can see okay that's cool so and if you go to the rotate tool there's just no way you can do this uh, you can just do it individually on each axis which makes it a bit less flexible but um, it's fine we can use that for the scale tool we can use um, we can do the same as the move tool as you can see we are scaling on two axes only not on the z axis on the x and y axis only this is on the a, uh, on the x and z axis and this is on the x and y axis really cool now one more thing to note is the shortcuts for uh, move rotate and scale tool because you just don't it's not ideal to just keep on clicking here and just selecting the options so the shortcut for the move tool is w without holding the right mouse button because we are holding the right mouse button a lot of times here so without holding the right mouse button you need to press w to access the move tool e to access the rotate tool and R to access the scale tool and these keys are actually very near to each other they are in a line so that it's really easy to use and in Unreal Engine 5 you can also press the Q key to select uh, to uh, come in select mode which is actually very helpful because if you just don't want this transformation tool you just want to select stuff uh, you can definitely do that this so that's all for the transformation tools. These three tools are really useful and essential. They're 100% required to make something. So if you like the video, please leave a like to the, ch in the channel and also subscribe. So see you in the next one. Thank you.